In this example traceability matrix, we actually are tracing our functional requirements to use cases for a car configuration application. So for example, I have a customized car use case and you can see there are two functional requirements that probably map to steps in that use case. One requirement allows the user to select the model to customize. And another requirement is displaying only the options corresponding to the selected model. As I look at this trace matrix and see only two requirements for that use case, it would prompt me to go back to the detailed use case and analyze it to determine what other requirements there are to support the use case that I might have missed. As a rough order of magnitude, I would expect to see three requirements for every system step in a use case, and maybe on average, eight system steps per use case. So about 20 to 30 requirements per use case. Also, maybe I see my dev team is having a hard time implementing a requirement to add comments to the quote. I can look in this matrix and see what use case that ties to and evaluate whether it's going to be a big issue if I have to cut it. Also notice, this table was created in Excel, but it would be much better if it were in a requirements management tool where I can still export to this table to view if needed.